What's going on guys, Ness here. Today I want to talk about a neat little mini PC that I picked up called the AlphaWise X5. Now what drew me to this thing is the fact that it's a dual boot system. Dual boot is in, it comes pre-installed with Windows 10 and Android 5.1. So while shopping around, I was a bit on the fence as to what I was looking for. Did I want more of a streaming media box or more of a breakaway workstation? And with something like this, I feel like I might have all bases covered. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what comes inside the box. Now opening up the box, we have the mini PC itself right on top. It's got your standard mini PC TV box look to it. You have activation instructions, as well as a basic operations guide. Now underneath here, we have the power supply, as well as an HDMI cable. Very basic packaging right here. As I said before, aesthetically it has a very basic design. Over on the back side, you have your port for the power supply, a USB 3.0 port, an HDMI port, an Ethernet port, as well as a headphone jack. And this is also where the power button is at as well. Over on the other side, you have two USB 2.0 ports, as well as SD card slots. It comes with an Intel Atom X5 processor, 2GB of RAM, and 32GB of internal storage so it shouldn't have any problem running any of the applications or PC programs I want of it, as well as the light gaming I plan on doing with it. I booted it in Android first, mainly because I was curious as to whether or not it would have a stock Android experience, or if it would have one of those TV box style interfaces. And to my surprise, it was actually a stock Android, which I prefer because I eventually later want to add my own launcher to it. The pre-installed applications seem to run fine. My streaming media applications seem to run beautifully as well. Switching over to Windows was as simple as dropping a tab and pressing a button. The 64-bit version of Windows 10 installed on this thing ran incredibly smooth. I got no complaints. And because I am in fact a game head and feel the need to game on every device that I own, I decided to hook up my hyperspin hard drive to this thing to see how well it would run the emulation on there. It ran 16-bit titles flawlessly. Sixty-four bit games ran good as well. I'll probably make another video where I install Steam and see how well it plays some of my Steam titles as well as test out some more emulation on this thing. So the AlphaWise X5, a bang for your buck mini PC that's versatile enough to be used as a streaming media box, a breakaway workstation, or a light gaming console. Dual boot functionality really makes this thing worthwhile. I'm probably gonna spend some more time with it, trick it out on both sides, and probably do an update video. If you guys are interested in the AlphaWise X5, I'll put a link in the description below. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.